Hello, all just checking in um, as to what we're up to. I see the surgeon Tuesday. Um, but I've got to admit, I'm feeling really frustrated because I'm trying to get some answers. Um, because I'm looking at, I was initially looking at splitting treatment surgery here. Uh, any any required further treatment, which I've been told I probably have to have in Melbourne, where I can get integrated treatment because you can't get integrated treatment plans in Port Macquarie. And I want to include natural therapies and, and um, you know, all sorts of other things. Apparently, uh, things like acupuncture, massage, uh, diet, uh, exercise physiology, all of that sort of stuff are brilliant um, to help support the system through the process. But you, you can't get anything integrated in Port Macquarie. But I'm really frustrated because I'm being met with just stone walls. And the more people that I talk to who have had this journey, because I'm, I'm getting people reaching out um, from all around the, the world, which is fabulous. And the more people I talk to who have had this journey are saying that same thing. They just kept getting hit with walls on information. Um, and so I've been ringing around trying to find out all I'm after is approximate time frames. Like I get that they can't tell me um, exactly what's going on until they get in there and they take it out and stuff like that. I understand all of that and I'm not asking for people for black and white answers. What I'm asking for is I'm going, I need rough timelines and guidelines because I need to organize my whole life. There's other people involved. Um, so can you tell me, you know, for what we, what I have so far, can you give me an approximate Okay, you know, surgery will, that'll be in about a week or two. Then you've got to heal for four to six weeks, you know. So I'm just after approximate windows. And I'm just constantly being met with, no, this is the path you have to take in terms of, no, you have to do this and then you have to do this and then you have to do this. And by the time I actually get an option to talk to someone about my thoughts on my care, I've already started chemo. And it's like, well, no. And this this is where I live at the moment. And I'm like, no, I just, I need to know about other stuff. Because by the time, if I, you know, just go with the way I'm being told I have to go, I, I'm not going to be where I can get an integrated care plan because there's this block in information. And it's not just here. Other people are telling me that this information, you know, this trying to seek information is that the standard medical system will just block and corral you into the system that they understand in their location. End of story, you need to use these people. And it's frustrating. And the, the other people that I've spoken to that have used integrated care plans, they've had to stand really, really strongly and go, no, I will do this and I will seek this information. And they've been dismissed quite often. Um, not by everyone. Like I know in Melbourne um, and in Sydney, there's and and there's great integrated care plans. You just have to Google it, and they're all over the place. But they're, they're centres that don't offer integrated care plans and stuff like that. They completely dismiss any viability of it, and it seems quite rife through the industry. And so that for someone in my situation, you know, you're scared. You don't know what's going on. Um, you're just trying to get some structure because people have jobs, people have family. Some people have to move to get treatment. I'm self-employed, you know, and the treatment care plans I want is in a completely different state. So you need to just have someone to talk to, you know. And I, so I said to, you know, this, the people that I've spoken to, can I at least see a counsellor who, you know, do you have any, can I see a counsellor who understands cancer and stuff like that? Not until after surgery, chemo started or radiation started, not until after all of that do I actually apparently get to even speak to a counsellor about how to organise myself to deal with this process. So it's frustrating. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit cranky about it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing as much research as I can. I'm finding places that I would like to work with. And so come Tuesday, when I actually do get to talk to a surgeon, um, if I'm not happy with what I'm being told, then I'm just going to be funneled into a system that doesn't suit me, then I've made the decision that I will up stumps, pack bags, and I'll be on the road. If I can get out with the bushfires, I've blocked a lot of roads around my area, so I, if, if, if I can get out, I will be on the road to go and find the treatment that I need. Um, so that's where we're at. 
in the meantime, what I've been doing is I've been changing my diet to an alkaline um, vegan diet at the moment. Uh, until I can actually speak to someone, I'm just doing a bit of a cleanse, getting my inflammation down, um, making sure I'm getting my protein, getting the juices into me, uh, trying to sort out sleep. I've had insomnia for about six months now, so um, trying to work out all sorts of things. I've got um, a gorgeous friend sent me um, sleep music, uh, which is meant to you know the um the tones change your brain waves and all this sort of stuff so given that a go and that seems to help um i've been out you need special bras for this sort of stuff for after surgery so i've been out and found some you know some um non underwires i've got to be supporting all this sort of stuff again met with people just not having the right information because uh went to the specialty bra shop um not going to drop names and stuff that and i didn't know there were two in town so I went to the, the more common, well-known one, and basically it was just a case of this is all we've got. And so I've ended up there with a sports bra that's really difficult to get on, which is not going to work if you've had surgery and your arm and stuff is, is impacted. They didn't tell me there's another shop here that specialises in post-surgery bras. Didn't even mention that there's someone that has got an entire part of their wall in the shop. that specialises in post-surgery bras, and these things have little pockets that you can put padding in, if you don't, if you're not left with enough boob, you can get ice packs in them. You can do all this sort of stuff. There's a whole range of these, and yet a specialty lingerie shop in town didn't even mention that these things were available. They only sold their product, um, so it's that sort of stuff. You know, it's not necessarily um, you're gonna get some frustration if you go through this. The people in the second shop, you know, where I where I got this one from, which is just beautiful. Um, there's a lot of amazing, amazing support out there but you've got to dig for it and what I found is when you found, find people that have been through this they are just gorgeous like I said I've, I've been speaking to people you know from all over the place people just volunteering who I've never met you know they, they're volunteering information they're going you know happy to have a phone call with you and I'm jumping all over that you know they're happy to talk and they're sharing their experience they're sharing their wins you know they're sharing that the, the information that they have and it's beautiful so I'm going to keep doing this because I'm finding that unless you reach out, you're not getting the information. And, and if you reach out to the standard system, you're not getting the information. So again, share this around. I want to start sharing as much as I can for all the ladies out there and men, because men can get breast cancer too. I'm going to keep sharing and I'm going to keep sharing the information and things like that. So if you have any questions, if there's anything I've mentioned you want to know more about, then drop me a line. And if I don't know, I'll try and find out for you because this information needs to be available to everyone so you can actually work out what how it is you want to treat your body and your life moving forward so we'll talk soon have a great day